welcome back. Today we're going to go over some settings to get the best out of your Hero 7 Black. While I was working out the best mounting solution and video settings for this camera, I noticed that certain footage would end up with a lot of small shake to it. Overall, GoPro's Hyper Smooth has been very impressive, and I'm sure you've already watched at least five comparison videos, right? I didn't mount the gimbal and Hero 7 at the same time to do some back-to-back -back footage, but first, let's get to the settings that are important. Oh. I found that the ProTune settings I was using on the Hero 4 did seem to work well. There was one exception. Hypersmooth didn't seem to work so well in low light. I had been locking the ISO settings to 100 min and 100 max. This produced a nice image, but I was seeing a lot of small shake in my footage on even pretty flat terrain. I went in and upped the setting to 100 and 400 and didn't see a big improvement. By chance, I tried changing the EV comp to negative one, which was a setting I was using previously, and for some reason, it started working better. I only have a few rides in this setup, but I have ridden in what seems like good lighting, and I found the camera wasn't happy. I went as far as letting the ISO expand to 6400, but when it was slightly dark, the image was so grainy or noisy that it was unusable. When looking into the issue of low light and hyper smooth, I found that Abe Kozlevitz had covered it perfectly in his Hero 7 blog. For those of you who don't know Abe, he works at GoPro and always releases excellent blog and video coverage of settings and tips. He's also a pretty decent mountain biker. I will leave a link to his blog for the full details. He describes that the reason for this issue is when the camera is forced to use a longer shutter speed, there's blurring between a few of the frames, which ends up showing up as a small shake when played back after the stabilization has been applied. He recommends turning off hypersmooth and using a gimbal if you need smooth low light footage, which is a bit of a concern, because as bikers, we tend to be in varied light conditions pretty often. Using the EV comp settings will let the camera balance the shutter speed and ISO settings without being locked in. Moving this to the negative side tells the camera you want a darker image, which means it will choose a faster shutter speed and a lower ISO value. Now, mounting angles are something we need to pay a lot of attention to with the Hero 7. I had come across this issue when I first tried the Hero Session 5 with stabilization, where it was more often than not that the camera was pointed in the wrong direction. I was skeptical that the Hero 7 could overcome this issue, but it has made a massive jump forward here. It's really impressive. I found that getting the camera low and pointing forward on the same plane as your bars works well for the flatter rolling terrain. If you have trails that are mostly up and then steep down, you can get away with angling the camera from a much higher point. The chin mount actually works well for this. For consistency though, I wanted to lock this angle to the chest mount, so I did not have to fine tune the camera every time I put the harness on or change a battery. And this setup I have here has been working well. Two for two. I wasn't prepared for that. Never tried that rock garden. I came up with these by surprise before. Oh, I'm caught him out now. 
The Hero 7 is definitely the best camera GoPro has made to date, but I wanted to make sure you know its shortcomings before you decide to make this the one camera that rules them all. It's worth noting that 360 cameras are also suffering from the same limitations. And once you understand what's going on, it kind of makes sense. So for me, I'll be keeping the gimbal around for a little bit longer, until I sort out all the little details to make the Hero 7 work. So this was just the beginning. There's still a lot of features left to test, like the cool hyperlapse feature that's built into this Hero 7 now. And please, let me know in the comments below, what settings have you guys found that worked? Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe to see the next updates.